Hello again, and welcome back to the MSAG's COVID-19 series. In our previous video, we covered the impact that the pandemic has had on different patient groups in the UK, specifically people with chronic health conditions, cancer patients, people over 60, and people in care homes. In this video, we'll take a look at the impact that the COVID-19 pandemic has had on another significant group in the UK, ethnic minorities. The acronym widely used to describe this group in the UK is BAME, which stands for Black, Asian, and Minority Ethnic. BAME is defined as including all ethnic groups except white ethnic groups. Because this acronym is so widely used in the UK, it's important to be aware of its meaning and usage. Pause the video for a minute and try to answer this question. How has the COVID-19 pandemic affected ethnic minority groups? First, let's take a look at the UK population. The following figures are taken from the 2011 England and Wales census, which is the most recent census information available as of February 2021. In 2011, the population of England and Wales was 56.1 million people, with 14% of the population categorized as being in ethnic minority groups. This graph shows the wide range of ethnic groups within the UK, representing over 12 million people. A report from Public Health England found that the risk of dying from COVID-19 in the UK is higher if you're from a minority ethnic group. Public Health England's report looked at survival rates after accounting for the effect of gender, age, deprivation, and religion. In this analysis, people of Bangladeshi ethnicity were found to have twice the risk of death than people of white British ethnicity. People of Chinese, Indian, Pakistani, other Asian, Black Caribbean, and other Black ethnicities had between a 10% and 50% higher risk of death from COVID-19 compared to white British. What's puzzling is that it's not known exactly why these differences in mortality with ethnic groups exist. The analysis from Public Health England found that the difference between ethnic groups was greatly reduced when the other important factors associated with the risk of acquiring and dying from COVID-19 were included. These factors include occupation, comorbidities, and obesity. It was found that many pre-existing conditions that increase the risk of having a more severe infection, such as having diabetes, were more common in people from ethnic minority groups. Public Health England found a strong link between an economic disadvantage and COVID-19 diagnoses and severe disease. Ethnic minority groups tend to have poorer socioeconomic circumstances, which lead to poorer health. It's been suggested that COVID-19 did not create the health inequalities, but rather, the pandemic has exposed long-standing health inequalities affecting ethnic minority groups in the UK. Let's look at some figures from March and April of 2020. Although ethnic minorities made up only 21% of healthcare staff, 53% of the total healthcare workers who died were ethnic minorities. 44% of doctors in the UK are ethnic minorities, but tragically, 95% of total doctors who died at this period were ethnic minorities. In a survey of doctors by the British Medical Association, doctors from ethnic minority backgrounds reported feeling less confident about PPE provision and higher rates of bullying and harassment during the pandemic period. It's clear that further research is needed to understand the impact of COVID-19 on ethnic minority groups. It has been suggested that further work should focus on the socioeconomic, occupational, cultural, and structural factors, such as racism, discrimination, and stigma, that influence COVID-19 outcomes in ethnic minority groups. In our next video, we'll start looking at the impact that the COVID-19 pandemic has had on medical research. Best of luck on your interviews, and we'll see you in the next video.